Hello, welcome back to another video presented by Acuity PPM where today we've got a great update on how to manage work intake using Acuity PPM software. But before we get started, I want to remind you, subscribe to our channel because we're putting out great content that you don't want to miss that will help you better manage your portfolio and your PMO. So with that, let's get started. And before we launch into Acuity PPM software, let's ask the question, what is work intake? Now we answered this in detail in our work intake video, but in summary, it's the process to bring forward new proposals and receive a governance decision, a go, no go decision. Work intake is a critical component of your PMO playbook. If you don't have a work intake process, you're gonna receive requests from the front door the back door, the side door, the windows, the hallway conversations. And before you know it, your portfolio is gonna be overloaded and it will compromise your ability to deliver. That's why work intake is so important. And there's a number of benefits associated with the work intake process. We get organizational clarity on how to bring forward new proposals. It'll help engage your employees and bring forward the best proposals that they've come up with. You'll see greater efficiency and consistency in those proposals by having a standard process. There will be consistency in the information being collected, and this will result in higher quality proposals because your governance team is going to get consistent information. People will know what the expectations are, and that information is going to help support better decision making, which ultimately results in a portfolio that maximizes business value. Finally, work intake helps control work in progress. You should only approve work when there are resources available to start that work. And we've seen this diagram in other videos, but it highlights that a work intake process fits together with ideation and a gated governance framework helps answer the question, do we have the right projects? And it fits within the very first portfolio lifecycle phase on defining the portfolio. And then finally, we have a very simplistic work intake process shown here. It includes the fundamentals of any work intake process, starting with creating the proposal reviewing it with a manager or other senior leaders, potentially getting other subject matter experts to review it. And then a PMO or a portfolio team would do a final review to determine whether it meets the project criteria before a governance review, which is where we'd have the actual decision to approve the work, defer the work, or even cancel the work. So we see these elements within Acuity PPM. Let's check it out. So here we're looking at the work intake portion of Acuity PPM. And we can see that we have options for looking at requests that are in draft versus requests that are ready for review. Or even we can see the work that's been approved, canceled, or deferred. We have a dashboard for work intake highlighting how much work is in progress. We can see that we've got four items in draft. We've got two that are ready for review, and then we can get visibility of our governance effectiveness. So today, 82% of the requests are being approved. A small number are canceled and a few are deferred. If your governance team is approving 100%, you need to reevaluate the effectiveness of your governance process. Within Acuity PPM, we can look at the timeline of the projects as well as the requests. And here we can see that for these two items, we can see the start and finish date. We can see major milestones of those proposals. This adds additional context and additional information before making a decision. In addition, we can look at the details 
behind each proposal. We can see the requester and the sponsor. We can see the description and benefits, the priority, the budget, financial benefits if they're available. This is the proposal form. We can look at the information. We can look at the timeline. And then we've got a risk section if there are risks identified in the work intake process. And then we have the proposal scores. And you should take a look at our video on prioritization using Acuity PPM. But organizations can use their scoring model to evaluate a new request before making a decision. So let's quickly do the evaluation for this project. Perhaps it's high alignment to a couple of the goals. Maybe this one doesn't improve customer experience, high net present value, urgency. These criteria are configurable. This is just a sample scoring model. Yours would, could look very, very different and Acuity PPM makes it very easy to build the scoring model. On the risk side, perhaps we have some higher risks, maybe high complexity. This is great for the governance team to do the review together. They can have that discussion and then they can see what the output is. And so here, we've got the calculated value score and risk score. And in this case, this request would be the fourth most valuable project in the portfolio compared to the active projects going on today. And then on the risk side, it's a little bit higher. It's on the upper, roughly the upper 25% on the risk profile. So it's a higher value and relatively higher risk proposal. So the governance team would decide, should we do it? This is a great input for governance decision making. And once we're done, it's very easy. We can click on the edit and then we're ready to approve this. We'll select the destination portfolio. In most cases, there's a single project portfolio, but Acuity PPM supports more than one. We're gonna send it to our demo. We're gonna update. And then we're gonna see that it's approved. And we're also gonna get a date stamp highlighting when it was approved. And when we go back to work intake, we see that our dashboard's updated. We only have one item ready for review. And if we were to go over to our project list, we would see the new project in our list. And there it is. So this is an overview of work intake using Acuity PPM. If you'd like to learn more, go to our website or look, click on the link in the description below and we're happy to provide more information or even a custom demo. So with that, have a great day.